Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> so, uh, today is our 35th anniversary. Can you believe that? Yeah, and it's uh, 20 minutes to 2 in the afternoon. We've just been bumming, talking about old times, and yeah. playing around with computer stuff. <laughs> I need to get an office chair and stuff, yep. and we need some supplies. I realize I have almost no metric tools. Most of my stuff is... Uh, is SAE because all I work on here at home is is my Harley stuff. Yeah, all those metric stuff at work. Yeah, because I, I just kind of built a kit here at home. I have just the most basic of stuff, so I, I need a a decent set decent set of wrenches. Sounds like a monster truck coming down the gravel road there. Yes. Oh, it's a UPS truck. It's that pulling, that right? will definitely make some noise. Mm -hmm. You wonder why we got big holes out there. Nothing for me. I don't have anything to order. Nope. But anyway, I was going to go out to the shop and look at what I can do to rearrange stuff in there to to uh, make a better motorcycle parking area. Yeah. Look at that for a little bit. She's going to have lunch, and we're probably going to run to Chehalis and grab a chair and some other supplies that we need. So it's going to be kind of a bum-off day today. It's yeah. like 48, 49 degrees out here. It's yeah. um, mostly sunny, but it's it's got like a biting cold to it, yeah. even even at close to 50. So uh, anyway, welcome to our 35th anniversary. Yes. All right. We'll talk to you as the day goes on. We'll see you later. How's that for a way to start a video? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, but I look a mess. I go, right. you look like you. All right. All right. <laughs> it looks fine to me. It doesn't matter. Dolled up, okay. not dolled up. That's all man. just a bunch of fussing is what I call that. Oh, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We'll see, we'll see you, you later. Yeah, as we go. Holy moly. It's 4.40 in the afternoon. <laughs> it's going to be dark. I think sunset's like 4.55 or somewhere around there. So uh, we're off to a late start. We've been doing a lot of goofing around, just enjoying ourselves on our anniversary. That's what we did on our anniversary, goofed around. Drove out to Carson City, Nevada. And yeah. Hung around, snuck into casinos that Kelly wasn't legal to go into. I know, don't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> We'd stay until they asked for ID, which shockingly we got away. Yeah. With a lot, we had fun. Yeah. We had a great time. Yep, that was a lot of fun. We were talking about all the excitement of that last night. Oh, I know it. But good know, time. What's crazy is it, you know, doesn't seem that long ago. I know. I mean, it literally, it seems like five, ten years ago. Yeah. But then you start thinking about having all the kids, and now the kids have moved out, and then you go, well, wait a minute. Yeah, more time has passed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Let's head north. Sounds good. Alrighty. Remember all the fog of driving through here that one day and I was telling you this is where you can look out over them beautiful fields? So oddly enough, this store was fairly new about 10 or 12 years ago when I bought the chair that finally, actually this chair has been, whoops, this chair has been worn out for a bit. Just one of those things you put off. So, here we are. Oh yeah, got to dig my little mascot out, don't I? Alrighty. Remember Christmas, I think it was? That's uh, Sunbirds right across the way. The only one they had was one that was assembled. And this wasn't the one I went for initially, but this one was way more comfortable. And it was a hundred bucks off. How about that? Super nice guy. Very nice. Been drug it out here for us and stuff. He's awfully yeah, nice. He's very friendly. Yep. All right. Let's head to tractor supply next, yeah. right? All right? Stop next. Usually when uh, I come to this tractor supply, oh, that was some really weird white balance there for a second, wasn't it? When we come to this one, I'm on a motorcycle. Oh, I got to get my mask again. Old well, tractor supply was a success. Yes, it was. We got some new beds for Sashi and Annie to reset their little cage home area. Yeah. They, they end up shredding them, even yeah. even though they're almost four years old. What it is about stuffing, I don't know. Yeah. 
We got a couple of them. They were on sale. Yeah. Normally like 50 bucks or something. They got yeah. a smoking deal on them. I go, ooh, I'll take them. Yes. All right. Now, Harbor Freight Tools, Red Apple, and Home. Yes, please. That's how we spend our anniversary. <laughs> Hanging out and going shopping. Yep. But you know what? It's just what we wanted to do. Yeah. Is it any plan? She goes, just whatever works out. It's fine with me. Yep. So I this, like it that way. Yep. There's too many things we have to do. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Yeah. All right. People All looking right. at us strange. I guess I better stop. Yeah, you should. Okay. <laughs> You know what's funny is tractor supply is right there on the other side. There's that white balance thing again. How weird is that? Got myself some metric tools. I got some uh, SAE, those offsets like I got for work. I love those for adjusting the clutches and the Harleys and stuff. I would have grabbed a metric set too, but they were out. And uh, there's the we got these shelves, they're only like 18 bucks a piece. But uh, it'll, we're gonna try them for that price. I mean, you can always use a shelf. Yep, we're gonna try to organize the shop. Try to organize stuff in the shop to move the bikes around. There's the two dog beds, horsey food and dog food and something else food. All right, All red right. apple and, and then, then home. And then PJs. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Sometimes you just have to come out here and stare at them. <laughs> so I was goofing around out here uh, sorting some things, or in my head trying to sort some things. I messed around with this uh, windscreen and got it much closer to the to the screen. There's that gap. You're going to have a gap anyway because these gr uh, rubber grommets uh, between the shield and the bracket are going to bulge it out they work like a spacer but i took those uh, foam pieces out and was able to essentially stretch it some to get it to fit a little tighter so that's the best i can get it i could auger out the holes but already the it's making the the metal just slightly past the screen but uh, it's at a point it's not noticeable now I, there's no reason to mess with it. I mean, it's not hurting anything. There's just something about those pieces of foam being back there. It was just driving me nuts. And there was a couple of inspection stickers back there. When you look down, it reflected against the uh, the little fly screen uh, glass, plastic, whatever. And that drove me nuts, too. So I just took it apart and messed with it for a while out here earlier today. But these little shelves, look at these things. It's sturdy as heck, too. Look at the size of that thing. That's pretty daggum cool. They're good for 176 pounds, something like that. Heck yeah, and they're small and you can tuck them in places, but little shells. Shells are nice. Shells also help <laughs> uh, keep that collection of junk going. Next thing you know, the thing will just look like a rat's nest of stuff. And then you're looking for something going, oh, where's it at? Oh, here's the old cross power gloves I had years ago. I mean, I've had these things a long time. Look at the old weird buckles on them, which were quite irritating because your sleeve on your coat would, would snag these things. They drove me absolutely crazy. And, uh, yeah, they're the power cross. Yeah, this is the old one. These have long been discontinued. They served me well for a while. I mean, they're quite warm and everything. But uh, the new ones are way better. But they did have insulation in the fingers, which creates that kind of... Oh, I don't have it on level ground. It gets you that slipperiness between your hand and the grip. You can feel like that insulation move. Where the new um, the new ones are, it's just like leather to the grip. And because it at the inside of the hand is nowhere near as warm as those were. But, you know, if you're riding those kind of conditions, um, at that point, heated grips would be 
would be really nice because the outside of the new ones are really warm. But uh, Harbor Freight had these little small microfibers. So I grabbed those. These old, I mean, these things are just, they're like crazy low quality. But they absolutely work. And the teeth never, they never nick anything. You got to be careful with cheaper wrenches because they tend to mar up like a chrome boat, bolt or something. But I've never had any issues with them. And I just needed a regular size. I've got like a the little stubbies, kind of like those up there in my toolbox. And um, the size only went to 17, I think. And uh, these goes 19 to 21, which is an oddball. And uh, no 18, you'll notice. But there is, oh, this is not the the uh, metric ones like I have at work. I would have grabbed these. They're 20, no, $12. It was $12 with that, whatever it is, that club thing that I'm signed to. This was 13 This was 12 this was like a dollar ninety five. These were seventeen something a piece. What was the other thing I got? I think that was it. Yeah. Oh, Kelly got some uh, uh, these little hand clamp stuff for doing her her wood stuff, her woodworking. The old Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has this icon line of wrenches that are absolutely top notch. And I looked at those in a set. This size is one hundred and eleven dollars or something. So I mean, it's, imagine getting those from, you know, Snap On, Cornwell, Matco, Mac, any of those guys. It would be probably three hundred bucks. But yeah, that's that's, that's kind of smart of uh, um, Harbor Freight to come out with that high end line of tools. Oh, and got that at Tractor Supply. Oh, so hot and handy. Look at that thing. It's like, oh. Watch how quick these things get dirty. They end up messing around, you know, playing with each other. One of them. That's a crazy sound out there. Did you hear that? One of them will drag one out, and then the battle's on. They'll chew them up. These were on sale. I mean, these things are normally... Close to 50, I think they're 49 90 something. I thought I'd pay 11 11 98 a piece for them. And they're nice. They're extra large. They're, they're meant for, you know, like Leo. Leo absolutely shreds these things right away. Even as old as he is. There's old Magoo over there. But anyway, it's going to be kind of a light vlog day. It was a Kelly and I day. And um, with it. Man, I don't know how it felt so cold for the temperature it was today. Even I was thinking, oh, she really doesn't want to go for it. I just not in the mood to go out there. And I thought, bundle up, because it was cold. It just had this wicked bite to it. I think the highest it ever got to, and that was around the time we were leaving. It just kind of, the sun came out and it peaked out. And, um, I think it was like 46, 47, somewhere around there. It just had this sharp wind in the air that just bit. Anyway, I thought I'd show you these little things that I got. I don't have, I've got a decent set of metrics in these, oddly enough, but no SAE. And these work great for like the iron and older style. Well, I guess the, does the Slim have that? I don't think it does with that new clutch. Nah, whatever, but you can get in that nut for adjusting the, the clutch normal set of wrenches here instead of the little small ones like i say the ones in my box are about like that i still need to service up my uh filter for the dr got my oil change kit i put all that in a box over there anyway well uh danny magoo and i we're gonna run in grab the mama do a quick goodbye it's already quarter after nine and it's like 30 or 31 i think it keeps bouncing back and forth she's already below freezing that's probably why it had that bite in the air this morning. So once we start something here, I'll give you an idea of what we, uh, um, what our plans are as far as moving things around. Well, hello there, you two. Hello there, Abby. Yeah. As soon as Abby sees us together, she's got to come up. I can walk out here. 
she looks at you. Kelly can walk out of here. We're together. Yeah. Here she comes. <laughs> Something Lord. special about mom and dad being together. Yeah, the knucklehead. Crazy old Abby. They've been out there running and barking at things all night. I know. I was coming back and crossing the shop. There's grass is all crunch, crunch, crunch. It's all frozen. It's like yeah. 29 degrees out here. She's cold. Mm -hmm. It's going to be cold. It's going to be nice through Thursday or till Thursday, one of the two. Yeah, something like that. But you got to knock this cold out, though. I know. it. It's no fun if it's Yeah, cold. today, I mean, would have been nice, but, man, it just, like I was saying out in the shop, I said even I didn't like the feel. I just like, man, I'm just not really into going Freezing out there and getting that there. cold. Yeah. But we got Hopefully some. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Got some other stuff done, running around, checking mm -hmm. things out. The chair I got turns out to be a big and tall chair. Doesn't fit under my desk. Very comfortable, but a little too big. Yeah. Well, it's okay. comfortable enough. You can always shim your your desk up. They got them little puck things you can stick on there. I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure out something. Either swap the chair, fix the desk. That's crazy comfortable though. Yeah. And got it. They gave me a hundred bucks off on it, so. I vote for shimming the desk. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. That desk is old, needs to be replaced as well too. So, yeah. guy was going, you just need to get rid of that old thing. How old is that thing? Oh, 30, my. 40 years yeah, old. Yeah, it's old. It is old. <laughs> Crazy old. But I apologize for a light vlog, but this was her and I's day. If if there had been a day I didn't vlog anything, this would probably been the day this year. Mm, yeah. But we took you guys along anyway. I didn't. We didn't make anything special to vlog about or mm -hmm. make it exciting or anything like that. It was just, it's just us yeah. being chill. Yeah, just mom and I being mom and I on the 35th anniversary. Yep. What's crazy is in April, April 28th, will be 40 years since I met her. I know. That's crazy. Yeah. There's I guess all... I'll keep you. Yeah. Yeah, right. You got to yeah. got me all tuned all up. In. <laughs> trained and everything. Now, I guess I'll yeah, guess guess keep me. Yeah. Couldn't <laughs> love you, so I'll keep you. <laughs> Couldn't chase me off earlier, huh? No. You think wouldn't it. want to. Couldn't get rid of you, so I guess I got to keep you. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for uh, hanging out today. A little weird, odd vlog, but day in the life. Yeah, alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck yeah. All right. We will see you in the morning. See you in the morning. It's going to be cold. It's going to be cold. It's cold now. Wow. All right. All right. Thank you guys very much. Yes. <laughs> Bye-bye.